Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, old and new. This is Craft Away with May. I'm so happy to have you all here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm excited about today's video, guys. I'm going to give you a little bit more detail, but pay attention to those items I'm showing you guys, because <laughs> you're going to laugh with your girl today, okay? If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just know those comments are only desired and never ever are they required, because I absolutely love to chat with you guys after each and every video and happy holidays guys christmas is almost here can you believe it oh my goodness i'm so excited all right we are participating in a challenge today and that challenge is the just our imagination creation challenge and i love it it's hosted by kathy joe diy's and brenda with rustic and lace diy's and this month's guest host is sweet tea and butterflies so i really love participating in this challenge it's fairly new i think it's about three months running now and i love it because of the unique items that you have to use so this month we had to see as you guys saw their balloons k cups and hair rollers so i was like what am i gonna do I don't know what I'm going to do. And then it just came to me, so I just rolled with it. <laughs> now, you may ask here. I know you guys see off camera, I did take some um, of my wood pieces that I had in my stash, and I drew a mouse face. Okay, I didn't do this on camera because I'm not an artist and I do have to look at things when I'm drawing them. And I just kind of winged it, put it together. Now you may ask me, what does a mouse have to do with Christmas? I'm going to tell you guys, my items are Christmas inspired. However, these techniques, my video is going to be more of different ways to use these items. So think outside the box, just don't focus on Christmas. But as I was saying, you may ask, what does a mouse have to do with Christmas, right? So it was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a what? <laughs> a mouse. You got it. So I'm just taking some of this texture twine I have and I'm outlining it where I, um, instead of doing like a paint outline, I thought this would add a little dimension to this piece. So, and just so you guys know, for me, I'm using probably more rollers than anything. No, I am using mostly rollers because I believe I use it throughout each project. I am going to do something with the K-Cups as well as the balloons, but I, for the majority, use the rollers throughout each project today. And I want to say I have six really have three and then the other three are just kind of like you know little knickknack things that you can do that maybe you wouldn't consider but after watching this video you would so, so what i'm doing here is i'm just taking some of the curling rods and i removed the inside wire that was with them and i replaced it with the chanel stem just because the chanel stem is a lot more forgiving and easier to manipulate and so that's why i went with it now my original plan guys was to use this crafting fur i got from michael's i was so hyped about it because i wanted to do a play on like a stuffed animal type of thing but your girl measurements y'all know how that go if you've been here anytime I couldn't find the pieces like it was all over the place it was hilarious so I was like I'm gonna just patch it together and then it started looking like Justin Bieber uh -oh. so we x that <laughs> we went for take two okay plan B C D and E <laughs> we went for all things that came after I decided to paint it in the color cafe uh coffee coffee latte by folk art and that's what I did here. And I'm just, wherever I was going to put that fur, that's where I'm applying that color. And so I really like the color contrast of the pink, white, and the tannish color. And just that pop of black in the eyes. Now what you see I'm doing here is taking the little end pieces that come on the, um, the curling rods. And I'm going to use those for eyes. Now, as I'm looking at this here, it looks a lot better on camera, but in person, I think because the little hook part that was on the back, I didn't snip it off. It was throwing me off and I didn't like it. So I ultimately ended up removing that and using puff paint in place of those. Because even though I tried to color them in, like the paint would not dry. It just kept erasing because it's plastic. 
And so um, I had the globs of hot glue there. So I just decided to put puff paint over it. But I don't do that on camera. You'll see that at the final reveal. And that unfortunately happened with a couple of the projects today because um, I just it was throwing me for a loop with these items so because they're not you know your traditional items that you would use for your craft so um they just didn't get all executed the way i planned but i do think they worked out okay okay <laughs> actually i think they worked out pretty good but here i'm just assembling as you see um i'm using another one of those curling rods to create the tail i did use the one of the paint bottles to help get a nice little curve in there and we're just going to go ahead and use some of this adhesive and hot glue to attach it to the back and i gotta tell you guys i just love the way this came together i also used some of the foam rollers for the feet i thought i kept that in here but apparently i edited it out <laughs> but i didn't change the color up on these because of the color scheme i'm using and i do know it's a little three-tone because of the curling rods as well as the foam rollers and then the paint i used but i still think it's okay um it's not perfect but I think you guys get where I was going with it. And I think I accomplished what I wanted with this piece. So next I'm taking another foam roller that I painted in white. I'm putting that on the top. And what I'm going to do is attach this little Santa hat that came in a pack of some uh, wood cutouts that I picked up from Michael's. And I'm going to attach that to the back. And that's going to act as the fur for the hat. And I really, really like this, guys. I think it is so stinking cute like for real for real <laughs> so cute and here is our little message now i did cut that out from some cardstock and it says "Twas the night before christmas it has a little speech and it cuts off right before it talks about the mouse so we're moving on to the next project i'm taking some of this masking uh, tape and i'm sorry guys i lost the footage here well i did i didn't lose it i thought i was recording and i wasn't but what you see there, I am doing the Grinch hand. I thought it was super cute to cover the K-cup in that brick colored tape. And I took one of the curling rods, twisted or bend it, it and took some of my greenery. Um, it's the pine tree um, greenery that I had in my stash to create the hand. I left the little end buttons on there. That's going to act as like the white collar for his hand when it's sticking out of the tree. And I have these little ornaments in my stash. I just went ahead, wrapped that around, hot glued it. And that's pretty much it for this project, guys. I know it went really fast, but you guys are awesome craft crafters with imagination. So I know you'll get it. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought this would be super cute, especially if something you want to put on your mantle or even on a tear tray. If you're doing a Grinch tear tray, I think this would be super cute um, and a unique way to accomplish this. So I really, really like this. I think it's pretty, pretty nifty that I used <laughs> those two items because I would never have considered them ill and I did have some chip paint here but it that those rods would not take that paint and I probably should have used the Mod Podge before applying it but nonetheless it worked out and you get it so next up this one's really quick if you blink you're gonna miss it so I took another one of those curling rods I took the filter from inside of the k-cup folded it in half to create some wings to make an angel so that's going to be the back part of the angel. I'm just adhering it with some hot glue. Have to be careful because, you know, the, the foam, it melts with the hot glue. So I couldn't apply a whole lot. But I took another piece um, of the filter from inside the K-cup. And I'm going to cut, um, I cut a triangle. And that's going to be the front of the angel. Now, I thought this was super cute. And I kind of drew inspiration from one of my sweet friends here that I often uh, participate in the challenge, which Tosh. Tasha, she did a whole series on angels, and so she was my inspiration for this piece, so thanks, Tosh. And I'm going to take one of my silver bows I had in my stash, and there you go. Isn't that pretty? Now, you can add a hanger to this or string and add this to your tree, or again, you can apply it to a tear tray. All right, next up, I took two foam rollers and uh, one of the curling rods. I keep... Ugh. <laughs> I keep wanting to say it something call it something else and I took one of the wires from inside of the an, other coloring rods that I used on the mouse ears so I used that to attach all this and we're gonna make a nutcracker 
And so I thought this was super, super cute. Um, I don't know how these ideas came other than, you know, it was just really last minute kind of thinking. Well, not really last minute, but it was just me sitting down just really, really trying to think of what I could do with these things. So I'm taking some of the crafting paper and I'm rolling it up and I'm sealing it with the hot glue as you see there. And I'm keeping this in its natural color as far as the rollers go as well. The foam rollers, I did paint the top of it black because I originally thought I was going to use that as the um, cap or the hat or whatever it is um, that I forget it was like if I call it a band hat guys it could be something else <laughs> but um, I did that and so wait did I do that in my line I am lying guys so actually what I did was I took a cap from last month's challenge because we have to use bottle caps I took that, put that on top, and then I painted one of the pink foam rollers black because I cut a like a medallion size piece off of it and cut that in half because I'm going to use that for like the visor part of the hat and then the other half I'm going to use for the base for the shoes. Now I have this ribbon and I forgot to do a face guys, that was the other thing so I had to go back and do a face and it's nothing fancy guys. I just did some lines and called it a day because again I'm not an artist and so of course I didn't line it up right so now I'm going to put his belt on and I it's off to the side guys this one can't, this one was cute but it, it was a little off as I am <laughs> I try not to get a lot tickled but it tickles me it really does <laughs> but I roll with it because I couldn't undo this because it was all glue and you know everything I would have to completely start over but I took another one of the curling rods in that green color. I left those their natural color is what I was originally going to say because I feel like it went well with the red and green um, or the red and gold. And I'm taking some of the little pom-poms off of that pom-pom ribbon. I'm going to add that to the top and the bottom of the arms. And this is where it did start coming together for me, where it really started looking like a nutcracker. Now, I really like the little legs dangling because for whatever reason, I know they're not in Toy Story, but that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> story I don't know why but it did I'm like this would be cute to sit on the shelf like you do the elf on the shelf I thought it would be so so cute especially because the legs are bendable but um, I am going to add a, a dowel rod to the back of it to help it stand up and you'll see that in a few minutes uh, but this is where I'm going in and I add a little piece from that um, the curling rods I that I had snipped off I put that on the hat just so it would you know bring some attention there and kind of break up that black on black and then I'm taking the little um, end parts from the ones I used on the arm and I'm going to create the buttons for the jacket with that and I absolutely love this and I love the fact that it was all challenge items challenge items from last month and this month <laughs> so cool and so right here uh, I'm just going in and coloring the bottom of that hat because again I had painted it while it was all in one piece once I cut it you know that pink was really really popping so I wanted to just cover it up just in case I don't think anybody would have seen it but still I didn't like it when I was moving around and now I'm just adhering them to some of these miniature um, tower tumbly box the ones you get from Dollar Tree and I'm just adding that to um, his legs. And that's going to be the base. And then that's it. Oh my goodness. I really left out a big part of that. Sorry guys. But you'll see it in the final reveal. Like I said, I added a dowel rod to it. And standing up. I can't tell if I did. I may have blinked and missed it guys. Alright. So next up. This one here is where we're going to use the balloons for the first time guys. <laughs> now... Okay, judge not, guys. I always tell y'all to judge not. We're going to make some s'mores, okay? And this one says, let's get toasted. I printed this out from my Cricut Joy. You can definitely just use stickers to spell this out. And then I took some of my white balloons and I covered the foam rollers in them to make marshmallows. Now, I could not find any balloons that would fit these um, rollers snug so I use rubber bands to close them up and they look like ghosts so yeah we have ghost mellows here 
for the middle <laughs> and it works because when I squish it down you're not really going to see them as wrinkly then I had some little squares that I had some dark balloons and I added the uh, dark balloons to that to look like the melted chocolate and then I'm taking a couple of couple of the dark balloons and just kind of laying it in the middle of the ghost mellows to look like melted chocolate now it looks more like a graham cracker sandwich or something but guys I think it worked and I, my little square thingies were coming out because I was supposed to be like my little square chocolate pieces you know like the chocolate bar pieces <laughs> This was a challenge on top of a challenge, y'all. It was a challenge. <laughs> so next step, you can't have s'mores without a bonfire. So next, I took one of the K-Cups. I took one of my lighter um, balloons, and I covered the K-Cup in it. I have these little fairy lights that I ordered off Amazon. It has three stages to it where they blink really fast, kind of medium, and then they don't blink at all. So I wanted to make like a flickering uh, flame. And also, I thought to myself like you know this would make a great alternative to a tea light if you don't want one if you don't have one and you wanted some soft lighting so that's what I did now when you put this in you want to make sure you put the little battery pack towards the top so that's that way it's easy for you to just reach in and cut it on and off so I'm going to add just a dab of hot glue just to put it in place so it's not all you know moving all around because I am going to be putting some wood pieces in here to create the log effect now um my sweet friend Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating, she had did a fire pit I think last year um, and I absolutely thought it was adorable. She did hers slightly different than this, but I drew inspiration from her. So thank you, Jenny girl. I appreciate you. And um, I just built from there. So like I said, I'm adding in the little wood pieces around this. Now, I did get this little flower stand from Daiso. Um, and it was $1.50 at the time I purchased it. And I'm just building on top of here. Now, right now, you can't really see it, but you will see in a few seconds here where the light is kind of flickering through. And you will see it at the final reveal as well and it really looked really really cute now i'm taking some of these wood pieces i found at dollar tree um like their wood floral packs that be in the floral section and i like the little curly cubes that was on there and i thought that would just add a little something to this but it didn't really make or break the piece but i still kept them there but i do try to um tilt it over a little bit so you guys can see but yeah and there it is. And this is sped up. So that's why it's blinking so fast too. So keep that in mind. <laughs> so next up, I'm taking two more of the K-Cups. Because you can't have s'mores without cocoa. So I'm taking some of these half little um, circle rings that I have. Wood rings I have. I split them in two using my miter shears. I'm going to create handles for the K-Cups. And this is going to be my hot cocoa cups. I thought it was so cute. So then next... I'm going to take some of these little wood pieces I have and I just put cocoa on there and now that I'm thinking back one should have said hot and the other one should have said cocoa but I just put cocoa on both of them <laughs> but and I just did them really in a fun playing way not even across because they were kind of large and of course the K-Cups are pretty small but then um I still like the way it looked and I left them in their natural state so next I'm taking one of the foam rollers that I painted in white cutting some more little medallion pieces and splitting that in half and I'm gonna fill that in where the holes are and that's gonna be our marshmallows for the hot chocolate cake cups so yeah you guys have to let me know what you think and this too again would be cute if you have a cocoa bar or if you're doing a s'mores tear tray or something along that line all right so next up my mom I'm making this for her workplace uh, for her coffee station workplace at her job and so um, I got this piece from Woodpecker's Crafts. They actually sent it to me in a goodie box, and I love it. I love it. I've worked with this before, and I just absolutely love this teacup. And I painted it in that red, white, and black. I'm staining it with some burnt umber, and then I'm just taking the tiniest dabs of white paint to shade in where the wood grain is to get that kind of coffee or foamy look to the coffee or like melted foam in the coffee and that's literally what I'm doing I'm just following the veining and that's truly my guide and once I get to that point 
of where I like it, I just go in and add some um, other little things to bring it to life. So what you see I'm doing here is I'm taking, it says, have a cup of cheer. And I really thought this would be cute to use for Christmas. And you can also use it all, all year round because who doesn't like coffee? Well, I mean, some people don't like coffee. But when you have it, it's just like a cup of cheer all year, every day. So I thought this would be cute for her um, to put up at the um coffee station at her job and it would work all year so I'm just going in adding in some stitching around this white part because it was just like running into each other and I wanted to break that up and give it just a cute little design now at the bottom I know I didn't go to the black but I'm going to go in and touch that up I don't know if I left that in or not but I am going to touch that up when I do my shading and so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking this marker and I'm going outside the line because I wanted to create that kind of cartoon effect with this piece. And I'm just going until my eyes like where it ends up. And this is another piece that I did end up finishing off camera, um, guys. And I'll let you know when we get to that point. So you um, won't be shocked. <laughs> But I'm just going, like I said, and filling it in until I like the way that it looked. And I do actually go in and add more to the top because I kind of cut it off at the top when I was doing um, the tracing. And towards the end, I was like, no, this needs to go all the way across. But at that point, I had added in some embellishments and didn't like it. And this is where I used the balloons as well. On this particular project and it did not come out at all like I like so I might end up removing those all together because I feel like I fulfilled it for all of the projects and I probably didn't even need to put it on here but um yeah it went kind of south for me but that's what you see I'm doing here and I know I used but like 50 million times today <laughs> so forgive me guys um i am adding it to one of these drain boards that i got from daiso um i use these all the time in my projects i absolutely love them and you can definitely recreate that same board using dollar tree items actually so once i do that i wanted to give it that white background because i wanted to give it kind of a fencing look and also to break up the red and black some so I'm just putting in putting on some glue and some heavier duty adhesive to this piece and again I'm keeping it simple I am adding in some Christmas embellishments but they're not going to be glued down like I put just a little bit of glue but not enough for it where we couldn't um, remove them so here's where I like to drink hazelnut coffee so for the tan color balloons I had I was like oh this would be cute to put little hazelnuts on the top but first of all I didn't center it yeah we're not going to talk about that okay <laughs> And then second, I think I should have brought it down above where the verbiage is opposed to putting it at the top of the cup. So I just was like, this is whatever at this point. So I just kept going. I added in the embellishments, um, but you guys will see that off camera. Like I said, I didn't really glue them down. And all it was was just some simple berry picks that I added to this. And literally, that's it. But I do believe I am going to go back and remove it. Um, but you guys can let me know what you think. It looks horrible, guys, because balloons. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Oh, it's a hot mess. But you know me. We're going to keep the camera rolling, baby. We're going to keep it rolling. <laughs> But here is the final reveal, guys, right now. And here are our little knick-knack items, our nutcracker, our Grinch hand, our little angels. So you guys have to let me know how cute are these or if you didn't like them. I mean, again, just think about the challenge of what we had to use. The curlers, the K-cups, the balloons, you know. This was a challenge, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. I had to laugh a lot. I had to use a couple choice words a lot. But at the end of the day, I did have fun. So that's all that matters. And here is our bonfire, guys, with our little cocoa cups and our s'mores. Um, oh my gosh, I really like this guy. So let me know if it is something that you would challenge yourself to use and do. 
And how did I do? Did I pull it off, guys? Could I have done it better? I'm sure I could have done it better. We can always, we always have room for improvement, right? But guys, please let me know what you think. And here it is. I am going to turn the lights up so you can see it. You'll still see it flickering. And again, this is a little sped up. So it's not blinking in real times. In real, t in real times. In, in real time. Um, but yeah. And I think it's absolutely cute, especially for a cute little, like, um, Coco bar if you have one set up I think this would be a cute addition to that and here is our cute little mouth I think she is so cutie woody look at her it was the night before Christmas and all through the house <laughs> this mouse you can't hear her but she's holding her little Christmas present guys I think it's so so cute and that's where I switched up the eyes but let me know guys I'm again not an artist but I think I accomplished the challenge and here is our have a cup of cheer sign. Ooh, this child. Boy, that sign needs a little prayer. But I tried it. I added some more of those little curly cues, which I think is what I should have added there to begin with, not the balloons and and with the balloons, I put the foam rollers in there. Yeah, it's the whole thing. But guys, don't forget to check out the playlist as well as the host and co-host this month, Brenda and um Kathy Joe, thank you for hosting this event. We appreciate it. It's lots of fun. And guys, I will have their information in my description box as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button and notification bell just so you know every time I upload a video. And don't you guys forget, leave me a comment. I want to hear from y'all. Let's talk about it this Sunday and Monday and Tuesday about this here crazy challenge. <laughs> All right, loveys. Until the next video, be safe, be kind, and happy crafting your days away. XOXO. Bye.